This is the oldest Roblox account ever created. While Roblox shows a join date as 2006, these accounts have actually been around for a lot longer. I'm going to take a look at some of the oldest Roblox accounts ever made and make sure to watch the whole video because some of them may actually have some secrets to them. Let's begin. All right, so here's a video by Stakes saying that this is the first Roblox player ever. I had to mute it for copyright reasons, but here you go. So if you go up there into the page, he's typing in the Roblox One profile and the account that's visible is Roblox, but that's not the first one. So he did some digging and found out that admin was the first Roblox account. Now, is that true? We're gonna try that out in a little bit. All right, and he looks it up on the Roblox profile and he gets the, <laughs> okay. Okay, everything was true up until that last part, but yeah, that is true. Roblox is not actually the first account ever made. So this is my profile, for example. And up here it says users followed by a number. This this number means that I'm the one billionth, 233 millionth, 824,000. You get the point. And so if we type in one, we get Roblox, which was created in February 27th of 2006. Except not really, because the first account ever made was actually called Admin. And the account joined back in June 30th of 2004 with the ID of one. There's actually a lot of accounts that were made back in 2004 and even some in 2005 as well. And keep in mind, Roblox was made back in September 1st of 2006. So yeah, that kind of explains why the join date was changed for all of these accounts. But yeah, the reason why admin is no longer the number one spot on here, well, because the creators deleted admin. Yeah, they wanted to test out their moderation at the time. And so yeah, they just deleted admin to see if it would work or not. And yeah, it worked. They just didn't get it back. <laughs> I mean, they did eventually switch admin over to 18, but then he got banned again. I'm not really sure why. Let's see, does it explain here? Oh no, it just says here that it was terminated. Not sure why though. <laughs> but yeah, with this list, we can actually see some of the other early accounts that have been made, as well as who exactly was the first Roblox player ever to have made an account. So the second account ever made was this one, QA. So this is how QA used to look like. It used to stand for quality assurance. And yeah, it was the second account to join Roblox. Wait, so it says here's now in the number six spot. Is that true? Let's see. So we just type in six at... No, it's banned. <laughs> Why are all these accounts banned? Oh, wait, what's it say here? Oh, okay. So it says termination here. Oh, no, it was compromised back in 2017. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like sometime around the year 2016, a hacker actually managed to take the QA account and then just started posting randomly in the forums. So there's this one here. I'm the QA guy. Hi. Okay, bye. Wow. So yeah, it looks like this hacker literally just pretended to be like a QA person, just answering different questions that people had on the forums. What's actually funny about the hacking incident is that because QA is only two letters, Roblox was unable to get the account back. So look, if it type in QA into people, it, it doesn't even register that it says please enter at least three characters so yeah roblox was therefore unable to recover the account so they just had to terminate it instead so yeah that was account number two but that spot is now reserved for john doe as well as number three being jane doe the official test accounts that were created by roblox we all know the infamous john and jane doe there's a lot of rumors about them plotting to hack all of roblox yeah a lot of youtubers and people like the community would go around saying that john and jane doe was going to hack all of roblox like even flamingo was waiting for the hacking to commence on March 18th. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the time is currently 11.56. Yeah, so this is back in 2017. 11.57? Uh, PM. Albert, what does that mean? I you may ask. In three minutes, it's gonna be March 18th, which all means right, John Doe thing, the day John Doe's supposed to hack all of our accounts. And so time passed, and nothing really happened aside from some games like Roblox High School changing their picture to have John Doe in it. But other than that, the rumors are just fake. But yeah, nothing ever happened aside from everybody freaking out. Let's see, so who are the other old accounts? There's David Bazuki, Eric Castle, Toolbox. Which one's Toolbox? It was you to test out the feature of the toolbox. Oh. <laughs> um, and then it looks like Roblox terminated it because it got hacked. Dude, why do all these accounts keep getting hacked? I want to see, like, who's the oldest Roblox player here. Oh, something I found interesting about Eric Castle's account. Uh, but very quickly, for those of you who don't know, Eric Castle is one of the co-founders of Roblox. Unfortunately, though, he did pass away at the age of 45, losing to his fight with cancer. And so, yeah, he hasn't been online for a long time now. But if you look at his friends list, you'll see someone pretty interesting here. And that that's the community over here. So again, the community is the one that started the rumors about John and Jane Doe. And a lot of people thought the community himself was a hacker as well because of him being friends with a lot of accounts that hadn't signed in in many years. But in actuality, he was able to friend John and Jane Doe as well as Eric Castle with the glitch that allowed him to be friends with people without them having to accept a friend request. So yeah, because of that glitch, the community is just gonna be Eric Castle's friend for like ever, I guess. But back to finding out the first Roblox player, uh, uh, let's see this video. It says the first Roblox player. Shocking. 
thing. Okay. This is the first ever Roblox player, and you will be shocked. Okay, Although, I'm ready. subscribe and like if you oh, love yeah, your subscribe, family. Oh, yeah, subscribe, please. Anyways, there was a kid named Paul. Wait, what? And Paul was actually a caveman back in 1880. Caveman back in 1880? And one day, he decided to play a very a cool thing. video game on his brand new PC. Yeah. And he saw <laughs> the, the video game known yeah. as Roblox. Yeah, but that's when it came out. he tried uh -huh. to make a Roblox account, he actually turned into a real-life Roblox what? player. <laughs> and then all of a sudden... Then Paul's what is this? mom walked into the room and was so scared that she threw a bunch of bacon at Paul. And huh? Paul instantly died on impact. Wait, Stay what? Stay safe out there, guys. What, what was that? I wanted to see like a factual video on this. Ohio story time be like, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Okay, fine. I'll do my own research. Let's see. Who's Todd, Keith, and Loduha? Roblox Todd. Oh, no. He's got a creepy pasta. <laughs> Todd is the creator of the hidden server. Server 8166. For those of you who don't know, Server 8166 166 or Vault 8166 was a supposed hangout for hackers. I believe the original one is now gone, but there are copies of it. And then here's some recovered leaked footage of the Vault 8166 incident. A lot of people thought that this was real, but uh, I mean, it's pretty creepy. So yeah, there's like a little monster that's chasing after them at the end there, and then the video just cuts out. <laughs> and here's a slow-mo version of it. Ooh, it's right there. But yeah, more than likely it's fake. I don't think he's a creator of that. Keith, though, is a Roblox administrator and now vice president of the engineering and operations. So, you know, great for him. And Loduha as well used to be a former Roblox employee. Again, though, I can't really find anything about Todd. Roblox account. I want to see who Todd is. Is this Todd? Todd, where are your pants? Okay, but now we move on to Greg, the ninth Roblox account ever made. And this one is actually the first account that was a non-admin user. A lot of people theorize that he's related to David Bazuki. He is one of the only three non-admins to join in 2004, the others being Todd, DBB, and Rich. <gasps> so Todd was the first player, actually. So Todd, Greg, DBB, and Rich. So those were the only Roblox players. The rest were Roblox employees. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, the unfortunate truth about Greg is that it was also one of the first accounts to ever be compromised. It was actually sold for like $200 or so back in 2017. Oh uh, yeah, due to a data breach, there's like a whole public leak and lots of passwords and emails were sent out and Greg was one of these unfortunate accounts that had their password stolen and because the account was stolen and Greg was literally like the number ninth person to ever make a Roblox account the person who stole the account started saying a lot of weird things and also said that they're going to hack Roblox along with John and Jane Doe but then when nothing happened the owner of the Greg account made this video so it's called I baited you all and it's just this person that bought the Greg account that's saying lol Greg is a hoax <laughs> this is what happens when you fall for the bait from clickbait YouTubers. Yeah, I would never clickbait anybody. <clears throat> and then, yeah, the account was eventually terminated. Not because he was a hacker or anything like that, but because it was a compromised account. Man, a lot of this chaos is all because of the community. He actually really did cause a lot of problems, huh? But yeah, if you guys like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.